Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to give a demonstration on how to add the web browser control in Microsoft Excel 2013. Now, in a previous video, I had showed how to perform this in Microsoft Excel 2007, which was essentially was the same thing in 2010. You'd simply go to your developers tab and keep in mind this is Excel 2010. I'm going to show you 2013 right now, but I want to just give a quick demonstration on what I did in the previous video. You went to your insert options for the developer tab. You go on and hit the hammer and wrench icon. Scroll down to your Microsoft web browser control. Hit OK, and then we can simply just draw it onto our workbook. From here, we could easily go to our controls and add a command button. I'm not going to modify the properties on this button. I'm just going to type in some quick code, webbrowser1.navigate. And in this case, you could just enter in the website. Go back to our sheet, take us out of design mode and play it. Click the command button and we see the web page load. Now, Microsoft Excel 2013 was different. I'm going to go ahead and show you Excel 2013. I'm going to go to Start and Microsoft Excel 2013. And go to Blank Workbook. If I do the same thing in Excel 2013, I'm going to go to my Developers tab. If your Developers tab is not visible, simply right-click any of the tabs. Go to Customize Quick Access Toolbar. And to, let me, I'm going to go to my left hand side. I'm going to look at Customize Ribbon. We want to make sure that the Developers tab is checkmarked. So in this case, I have my checkmarked. If yours isn't, go ahead and checkmark it so that it is visible. I'm going to go on and hit OK. I'm going to go to my Developers tab again. Go to Insert. This, in this case, it looks like they changed the icon a little bit. We're going to go ahead and hit More Controls. Scroll all the way down to where it says Microsoft web browser and hit OK. The moment you try to draw it on to your workbook, you get an error that says cannot insert object. Microsoft went ahead and posted a article, an article, which explained how to add a web browser control, or in this case, how to insert ActiveX controls into Office 2013 documents. So this is going to impact Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Word, and we're going to show you in this video how you can add that web browser control and not get this error. Let's go ahead and scroll down in this article. And in case you need that article number, it's 2793374. That way you have the instructions in front of you. The first thing that you want to do is determine your Microsoft Excel or Microsoft Office 2013 installation method. In this case, mine was the MSI installation of Office 2013. We're going to need to use the registry editor. And we're going to navigate to this path. However, before I proceed, in order for you to figure out your installation method, go ahead and go to your Microsoft Excel. You'll go to File and select Account. And as you notice in this article, Excel will give you the scenarios in which whether yours was a click to run or if yours was an MSI installation. In this case, mine was an MSI installation. So we're going to go to start and type in reg edit for registry editor. Go ahead and uh, right click that and run as administrator. Mine is already open. I'm going to give you a little shortcut on what, what I did on mine. That way I could simply get to the control. I want to look for HQ local machine software while 6432 node Microsoft and then office and the 15.0. Now before I go straight to the registry editor and go to the key that we're going to change, I'm going to collapse this. That way you can see the default view that you'll probably see on your screen. This is the view that you'll probably probably be getting. It's not a too complex task. However, you want to make sure you follow it appropriately so that you don't cause any kind of issues with your system. Go ahead and go to HK Local Machine and expand it. And as I mentioned, there's a little shortcut that you can do. We want to enable the web browser control. 
So what I did on, on my screen, my system, is I copied the class ID and go to my registry editor. I'm going to do edit, find, and I'm going to go ahead and paste it. I'm going to find next. I'm going to ignore this one because this is not in the path that Microsoft is giving us. I'm just going to hit F3 to go to the next one. It says searching the registry. This one is still not it. You can see the current registry key that we're in right now. We're going to go to, go to the next one. F I'm going to hit F3 again. And I'm going to hit F3 again. We're still not in the correct one. And then finally, I find it in COM compatibility, which is what we're looking for. And we're going to look at the compatibility flags. The article explains that we need to change the class ID from 1024 to zero. Now I'm going to go to the registry editor and move this window over so you can see under data, we have that value set here at 1024. We need to change that to a zero. So I'm going to click on compatibility flags. I'm going to right click it and hit modify. You will need to change the base to decimal. That way you see the 1024. We're going to erase that and it set it to zero. I'm going to go on and hit OK. Now we're going to go to Microsoft Excel and make sure that it changes. Now, to know that you were successful, you would want to go to the data tab or the data field and look to, make, to ensure that it's set to a zero. In this case, mine is. We're going to go back to Microsoft Excel, go to a blank workbook, and again, the developers tab, insert, more controls. We're going to scroll down until we find the Microsoft web browser control. Select OK. We're now going to draw it onto the form, onto our workbook. And now we were able to add it. From here, we can do the same thing that we did in our previous video where we added a command button. I'm going to right click it and just do properties. I'm going to change the caption to go. And I'm going to go ahead and put the the address to the website that we want in field G20. Of course, you can put it wherever you'd like, but what you want to do is keep in mind, reference that cell, G20. So I'm going to double click my go button. I'm going to type in web browser one dot navigate, and we're going to do it to sheets. The name of our sheet is sheet one dot range, and we said it was G20 dot value. Now we're just going to do the close our parentheses. And I'm going to go ahead and close that out and hit the take our, take ourselves out of design mode. And now I'm going to hit go. And now we see that the browser did load correctly. Just to test it out, we can just put in a another address cnn.com and hit go. Now we do see that the web browser is operating properly. Keep in mind, I am using a virtual station. So this does appear a little bit weird on my screen, but rest assured, if you're using this on your Microsoft Office 2013, you shouldn't see any kind of issues with your web browser. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thank you for watching.